welcome back to Entrepreneurship Tuesday on Y and the Morning. I'm sorry for joining you this late, but Alex held it down for us. And uh, thank you very much for tuning in, tuning in uh, throughout uh, all the way to this time. My name is Barry Moses, or it's Barry Moses on every social media platform, and it's time for another interview. So today we are focusing on the arts. We started with the, the film festival. Now we are into the theater arts. Before I introduce my guests, remember we have a question on Facebook. How much do you spend uh, traveling during the festive season? How much do you spend traveling during the festive season? As for me, I just spend fare to my rural area uh, and back. How much do you spend for your holiday? How much do you spend to go see your loved ones? We'd like to know that uh, so that we might uh, come up with a with a budget for something. You never know what the budget is for. So this is on our Facebook at White54. On Twitter, we are we are at White54 channel. On Instagram at White54 underscore channel. And you can hit me up directly at It's Buy More. So to my guests, these guys have a play uh, that is covering something that is facing so many youths in Kenya. It's about depression. It premieres on the 15th of, of December at the Liberty, Liberty Hall, Hall <laughs> in Pangani. Yes. And we have Collins and Daisy, who are cast members, who are going to shed a light uh, on this particular play right here. Karibu Sana. Asante. Thank you. All right, your camera is number four. Uh, to trans another lady, as you introduce, believe you. Okay, my name is Daisy Nabu. Mm -hmm. I am an artist, mm -hmm. a theatre actress. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, Karibu Sana. Karibu Sana, Madam Daisy. Thank you. Uh -huh. Um, my name is Collins mm -hmm. Mutunga. I am an artist, mm -hmm. an actor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, Collins. Uh, as people look at you like this, and as people look at Daisy, uh, they might guess you guys went to study uh, this thing that you're pra practicing right now, uh, which is not the case. No. What is your background in education? Uh, in education, mm -hmm. after form four, mm -hmm. yes, I went know. to Uganda uh -huh. and I did. Uh, Bachelor's in law. Uh -huh. After I was done, I went to Mount Kenya University, uh -huh. and uh, I'm just finished with a, a degree uh -huh. in journalism and mass communication. So why didn't you share this information earlier? So you're both <laughs> lawyers. You, you are holding information. Is it a lawyer yeah. thing to hold some information and use it later? <laughs> Uh, you asked where we were currently, what right, you were right, doing right. currently. It's, it's nice to know. It's nice to know that I have two lawyers in the building. Yeah. All right. Uh, what about you? What's your background in education? Uh, after clearing Form 4, mm -hmm. I studied law mm -hmm. at Mount Kenya University. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So after that, you went into theatre art, and uh, that is the reason you were casted for this particular play. Yes. All right. So uh, I'd like to get to the casting stage. How did you know about this play? How did you know about this idea? How did you know about this project first? Uh, the project. Mm -hmm. I met the, the producer, mm -hmm. Joel mm -hmm. Murithi, mm -hmm. and uh, the scriptwriter, mm -hmm. Malvin Idachi, mm -hmm. way back, mm -hmm. like six months ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, they were talking about a depression play. Mm -hmm. I had a few ideas that mm -hmm. I shared with them. Mm -hmm. And uh, Malvin said he's going to write the play. Mm -hmm. He didn't have the title then. Mm -hmm. So it was just... Uh, the script was there. No, the script wasn't there. Uh -huh. He the just wrote it there. recently. Yeah, the uh -huh. idea was there. Mm -hmm. But the script wasn't there. So after he wrote the script, he called us for auditions. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is when we auditioned and I was picked. All right. Yeah. Wonderful. How about you? How did you know about this play? Uh, first, I've been in Stewart's production for quite... Uh, Maybe two years now. Uh -huh. You've been working with them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been with uh, Malvin. I first met him in 2016 mm -hmm. while he was training uh, drama at Kenya Aeronautical College in mm -hmm. Wilson. Uh -huh. And uh, we've been working with him since. All right, there's a drama department. I think I have not to go That's very interesting. All right. Yeah. So the pilots also participate in, uh, in co curricular and that. Yeah. All right. Uh, performance is an art. Yes. For sure. Yeah. Uh, how did you know you can do this? And 
I started acting way back uh -huh. when I was in primary school. Mm -hmm. I first acted as a chief when I was mm -hmm. in class five. You, that was your first role That was ever. my first role How ever. <laughs> <laughs> it was my late teacher. Uh -huh. She passed on. Uh -huh. Her name is Madame Lukosi. Uh -huh. And she gave me that chance to act as a chief. Uh -huh. I really did well. Uh -huh. And after that, I went to secondary school. Uh -huh. I met Walter Sitati, uh -huh. a very good director. Uh -huh. I joined the drama team. Uh -huh. And it has been my journey all through. All right. Yeah. The thing about performance is that it gets you out of your, out of your shell. Yes. It gets you to a place that is very compromising because people are very, uh, you put yourself out there to be judged, to be watched, and all these things. How do you, how do you manage to, 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 to keep up with that? Uh, I tell people, most of the time, I feel myself when I'm on stage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is where I get in touch with uh, the deepest parts of myself that I don't know. Uh -huh. uh, and it gives me some kind of happiness uh -huh. that uh, I do not normally carry around. All right. with. Yeah. Okay, I feel that. So it's a passion for you. That's, I think that's the definition of passion right there. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. If you've never known <laughs> the definition of passion, that is it right there. Remember, we are on social media at white 54 channel on Twitter, white 54 underscore channel on Instagram, white 54 on Facebook. The topic of conversation is performance art, and this play is going to be premiering on December 15th, and it's about depression. The topic, depression, is, uh, is not something uh, we are used to. As as uh, as as a people, as a country, not a uh, we we try to suppress this, especially for the boy child. You are not allowed to be to be moody. You are not allowed to be stressed. You are not allowed to talk about your problems. But this is what you guys are going to be talking about in yes. this play. Yes. All right, walking in and out of this play, what am I going to leave with? Uh, you are going to leave with some intensity mm -hmm. and some thinking. Mm -hmm. It's. It's all searching. Mm -hmm. you're, you're supposed to, after the play, you're supposed to go back home and mm -hmm. think about mm -hmm. life at large. You mm -hmm. think about your friends, you think about your family, mm -hmm. you think about the people you know in your life. Mm -hmm. Are they depressed? Mm -hmm. Are they going through depression? Mm -hmm. You know, can they talk about it? Uh -huh. That is what you're supposed to think after. That the is what you're supposed to live with after you watch the play. Yes. All right, depression, depression, depression. Uh, we have had a number of suicides this year. We have had a number of songs talking about depression. Uh, and one thing is certain yeah. depression is a state of mind yes uh, it's not something you can actually see like this no yeah. but it's still a disease yes. it's listed mental as a, illness it's a it's a sickness yes all right so uh are you a survivor of depression yourself uh yes mm -hmm. uh d depression is there mm -hmm. Though there are some different stages mm -hmm. of uh, depression mm -hmm. until when one decides to, it gets fatal when mm -hmm. one decides to commit suicide uh -huh. yes. or kill his loved ones. Uh -huh. and, uh, and so the people who also kill them. their loved ones, uh, chances are they're depressed? Uh, yes. Most of the time. Most of the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So depression and, all right, acute depression gets fatal. It can yes. end up with the depressed person dying or the depressed person killing. Killing, yes. Yeah. Wow. They snap. They snap. Yeah. All right, as a mind state, chances are you're going to tell your friend, uh, you're not the first person uh, to go through this. You're not the first person to do this. Uh, chances are you're not going to understand a depressed person. So if you are living with a depressed person or you f you, you're figuring out somebody you know might be depressed, what are some of the things, tips you can give somebody who's living with a depressed person, let alone the depressed person? Okay, uh -huh. so if you're living with a depressed person, mm -hmm. you know, they have that shell of emptiness mm -hmm. and hollowness in them. Mm -hmm. they, they are angry all the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, most, of the, the, most of the time, they don't want to be with, pe with to associate with other people. Mm -hmm. So if you're living with a depressed person, mm -hmm. all you need to do is talk to them, mm -hmm. listen to them. Mm -hmm. Don't talk much, mm -hmm. just listen. Mm -hmm. Try to understand them mm -hmm. without judging them. Mm -hmm. Because what pushes people to commit suicide or what pushes people to snap mm -hmm. is when they are judged. Mm -hmm. You know, I told so People don't so, understand them. Yeah, people yeah. don't understand them mm -hmm. at all. Like I told, maybe I told Kola I'm depressed and uh -huh. Kola went to tell another person, mm -hmm. you know what, this is depressed because of this. Mm -hmm. So that will cause uh -huh. 
snapping and uh -huh. be like kolo nilimwamini how could, yeah, like how could he do that uh -huh. so i snap all right so just be there listen yes don't talk much don't talk and don't talk uh, when you say don't talk much don't talk to that person don't talk don't interrupt don't speak out of turn yes <laughs> when you're talking to a, de a depressed person yes. and also don't talk about them with other people exactly talking to it yes. these are some of the things we are going to learn at the end of the the, the play itself yes uh, which uh, which uh, role are you playing in this film uh i'm the director of the play uh -huh. yeah i have a cast of around 15 mm -hmm. actors mm -hmm. wonderful actors all right yeah 15 wonderful actors uh how being one of them Yes. Which role are you playing in I the film? I play Delilah. Uh -huh. She's a very angry lady uh -huh. who just lost her son through suicide. Uh -huh. And she blames everyone. Uh -huh. She blames the society, she blames the husband, mm -hmm. she blames the So church. she gets into depression herself? Yes, after she's depressed. And uh -huh. the, depressed, the depression comes in as anger, uh -huh. anger management issues. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So she's just angry at everyone. All right. Yeah. Anger is good, but uh, mm -hmm. to extreme some extent. Anger? Extreme yes. anger is not. All right. So uh, Delilah lost her son. From depression, so Delilah gets depressed as well, yes. and the story continues. Yes. For more of that, head straight to Liberty Hall in Fungani on 15th of December. What time is it? It's at three. three. Oh, it's at three. Yes. Three to six. How much is it going to cost me to to watch this? Uh, right now we have tickets, uh -huh. Alibaba tickets, uh -huh. 500 shillings. Uh -huh. uh, VIP, 1,000 shillings. Uh -huh. But the Alibaba tickets right now will you'll get the VIP treatment when you come. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay. What is the capacity of Liberty Hall? Uh, Liberty has a capacity of around 600. Uh -huh. yes. So, Harry while stocks last. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is it. 600 is, is, is not so much. So, uh, you might just miss your ticket right there. All right, let's, since today is Entrepreneurship Tuesday, let's get into the business aspect of it. As a director, as an actor, uh, the big question is always is the money coming in? Uh, is it sustainable? Can you survive off? A theater art in this country as we speak yes mm -hmm. you can if you are good at it if you're good at it yes. you have to be good at it first you, have to be good you at don't it. complain uh, theater no, this no, theater no. but you've not perfected your craft yes you uh -huh. have to perfect your craft you have mm -hmm. to go out there mm -hmm. and uh, search for that opportunity mm -hmm. you not just sit home and say i'm an actor and mm -hmm. I'm, you know i'm a theater actress and mm -hmm. I, I'm going to make it. How are you going to make it if you're not going for those auditions how are you, mm -hmm. are you going to make it if you're not going out there and performing and showing the world that I am mm -hmm. just sold the mic steady mm -hmm. yeah. all right so uh, ticket sales are an avenue of making cash yes what are some other ways that you make cash in this theater art film uh, like uh, our production mm -hmm. house uh, stewards production mm -hmm. we have sponsors uh -huh. and uh, so you partnership partner with brands yeah yes. uh -huh. that is one thing yes uh -huh. Like so how do you pick the brands that you're going to partner with? Say uh, this play is about depression. Uh, we are going to seek brands. So your PR person as steward is there and uh, says we need to reach out to brands. So we are, this play is about depression. What, what is the criteria that you're going to use to pick the brands that you're going to reach out for, for a particular project? Uh, most of the plays that we do mm -hmm. are uh, thematic plays mm -hmm. and uh, have a touching with the society mm -hmm. most of the most of the time mm -hmm. so when you go to pitch mm -hmm. the ideas to potential uh, partners and mm -hmm. sponsors we'll go to them and speak to them as a part of the society uh -huh. uh, looking at from the society uh -huh. outwards all right so they, are, they you bring them as part yes, yes. all right and uh, they also benefit from this. Yeah. And chances are it's going to be uh, re a story re relating to what this brand is trying to sell. That yes. is what you're saying. Yeah. All right, I feel that. Uh, remind them your social media handles, how they can get st uh, to Stewart, and how they can get to buy tickets, how they can get to, to follow you guys as well. All right, so I'll give you the chance, maybe Sauti Nyororo, to find out who's more tickets. Yeah. Uh. Okay, uh, Stewards Productions is on Twitter, uh -huh. at Stewards Productions. Uh -huh. It's on uh, YouTube, mm -hmm. Stewards Productions, and also on Instagram, at Stewards Productions. My Twitter handle is Daisy Nabu mm -hmm. on Twitter, Daisy Nabu on Instagram, Daisy Nabu on Facebook. All right, thank you very much. Yeah, uh -huh. I'm at Kilu underscore C. 
K W I L U underscore C Instagram at in Facebook I'm Mutunga Collins Twitter underscore Kilu C. Alright. Yeah. So, uh, the, in, in every business, there's always uh, the future. What the future holds, uh, the vision with it, and, uh, and speculations here and there. What do you think is the future of theatre art uh, from where you're sitting? From where I'm sitting, mm -hmm. the future of theatre arts is actually the future itself. Mm -hmm. Theatre art is actually the future. The future yes. Right. Because uh, when you go to film, mm -hmm. film has a low capacity of people, mm -hmm. and it takes... Um, an average number mm -hmm. but with theater theater hall it's wide mm -hmm. and uh, the topics to discuss are very wide mm -hmm. and are very many mm -hmm. so theater is basically the future theater is basically the future because yes. it, it's an experience in itself yeah, yeah. It's, for sure it's yeah. different from watching a uh, recorded movie yes all right uh, what is the future of theater arts uh, the future mm -hmm. for theater is there mm -hmm. especially now in Kenya mm -hmm. We, we, we've come from a place where theater was uh, seen as Sarakasi. Mm -hmm. Now we have serious productions that are doing marvelous jobs. Mm -hmm. We have- uh, Stuart being one of them. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, we have poets uh -huh. who are doing wonderful in this. Mm -hmm. We have dancers. Mm -hmm. All these are uh, in the theater performances. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it's there, we, we are going there. We are not there yet, but we are headed there. All right, uh, talking about the future, we have the drama festivals every year uh, for primary schools and secondary schools. These kids uh, leave high school uh, with no place to turn to, no place to head to, no place to nurture their talent. So they end up in university studying things that they won't even practice. Uh, is that way you're trying to help these kids? Actually, universities also attend drama festivals mm -hmm. right now. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Thank you very much for the, for the clarity. <laughs> all right. And then uh, again, uh -huh. again, uh, our production, mm -hmm. uh, we like working with uh, new, passionate uh, artists. artists. Uh -huh. most, most of them come from uh, the drama festival. Uh -huh. like for so instance, you go there and scout them? Yeah. For uh -huh. instance, in this play, uh -huh. we have a boy who has been, his name is Shady. Uh -huh. He's been at Kaba High School. Uh -huh. He was doing the stand-up comedy and some plays. Uh -huh. uh, we, I, I saw him on stage in 2016 uh -huh. at Meru. Uh -huh. And uh, he's now working with us uh -huh. in this play. And uh, I hope that one day... Wonderful, man. So scouting is a thing you're doing for sure. Yes. And that's how the industry should go. That's how the industry can grow. That's how the industry can sustain itself. Yes. Yeah. When you bring in new talent. Yeah, that's mm. fact how... The directors met me. Uh -huh. I was on stage. Uh -huh. I was acting f for Mount Kenya University, mm -hmm. and that is why Mal, that is how Mal, you know, was like, I need that girl to go in my play. Uh -huh. yeah. Wonderful. All right. So uh, as we wrap this up, uh, we have a question on our Facebook uh, that I'm going to be asking you in a few. But a word of advice to somebody who's acting right now uh, and uh, thinks, uh, I'm not really sure if I'm going to get into this because it's Kenya, <laughs> you know. What yeah, would you tell yeah. this person? Uh, if you're going to get into acting, mm -hmm. what is going to push you is hard work. Mm -hmm. For me, I always tell people that hard work when it comes to acting, hard work beats talent any day. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, you will have the talent, mm -hmm. but if you don't have the passion and mm -hmm. the drive mm -hmm. to go to stage, mm -hmm. trust me, you will not make it at all. Mm -hmm. So as you wake up every day, be driven by the hard work that you'll have and your belief mm -hmm. that you're going to make it as an actor. If you're not going to work hard, if you're not, if you don't have the passion, you're better off without it. Yes. All right. Uh, I would tell any actor that is watching right now, mm -hmm. just keep doing what you're doing. Don't mm -hmm. give up. Mm -hmm. uh, attend those auditions, no matter where they are. That is what I usually tell my actors. Mm -hmm. Go, atazikiwa wapi, kibera, wapi, go mm -hmm. there. They might be looking for you, mm -hmm. and when you get those roles, uh -huh. don't go looking for stardom. Uh -huh. Stardom is not what you're supposed to, supposed to be looking at. Uh -huh. Own your craft, uh -huh. and uh, you'll make it. Stuff take kiki. Uh -huh. <laughs> Stuff take kiki. <laughs> 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 Acting. All right. yeah. You should be doing it as a passion. You should be doing it for real, yeah. Yeah. not for the fame. Thank you very much. And to our last question now, Kabisa, it's on our Facebook. How much do you spend on average uh, traveling during the festive season? And do you think it's worth it? Uh, I spend 
I come from Bungoma County. Uh -huh. so, so probably fair to and from Bungoma? Is uh, like 3,000 uh -huh. Kenya shillings. And I've not counted the meals I'm going to have on the road. Uh -huh. So it's basically 4,000. It's a lot. It's a lot of money. Yeah, and then when you get the, since you're from Nairobi, you need to... You need to cash up, cash out a little bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so it's costly. You mean? Do you think it's worth it? You would you rather go somewhere sometime in May, June, and yeah, then come? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Family is important. Uh -huh. You have to go spend some time with your with your mom mm -hmm. and your family and uh -huh. just have that silent moment at home. All right. It is very important. Family is important. Yeah. Uh, despite the cost. Yeah, despite the cost. <laughs> All right. Family what about you? How much on average do you do you spend yeah. traveling? Uh, first, uh -huh. I love traveling uh -huh. I go to places whenever I get some good money uh -huh. I just uh, book a bus uh -huh. and travel uh -huh. but now on the holiday uh -huh. season uh -huh. I come from around here no, right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the counties uh, in uh, around Nairobi County you come yeah. from a county around Nairobi County so, so mo most of the time during this period uh -huh. I go to places that I've not been to uh -huh. and uh, I think it's worth it yeah I think your life is more fun than mine. <laughs> <laughs> your life is more fun than mine. Thank you very much for coming through Shuai in the morning. We appreciate you. One last time, remind them your personal social medias and how they can get the tickets. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, on Twitter, uh -huh. Daisy Nabu. Uh -huh. On Instagram, Daisy Nabu. Uh -huh. On Facebook, Daisy Nabu. Uh -huh. And our show uh -huh. is uh, on the 15th uh -huh. of uh, December at Liberty Hall. Don't miss uh -huh. Keeping Up With The Shanani Girls. Uh -huh. It is all going to be fun. All right. Uh, tickets? Oh, uh, can okay, they get the tickets? Uh, tickets are on 07-08-45-44-19. Just make a call? Make a call. Uh, reserve your seat. Mm -hmm. Pay via Mpesa. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Reserve your seat and there are only 600 tickets up for grabs. And uh, yes, you already know. Harry Wilds talks last. Thank you very much for coming through, guys. We appreciate you. And uh, keeping up with the shenanigans is going to be premiering at the Liberty Hall uh, in Pangani, courtesy of Stewart Productions. All right, and we have uh, the main man himself, uh, Collins. Collins and Daisy. Yes. Who are, you are the director, cast member, and uh, the rest of the cast is represented to the max. So remember, 15th of December at Liberty Hall in Pangani, keeping up with the shenanigans. 500 uh, for an advance ticket. You don't want to miss this. The topic is depression. And I'm pretty sure you know somebody who's going through this. So this will be a lesson uh, well learned for you. My name is Barry Moses, or it's Barry Moon, every social media platform. And we still have another interview lined up for you. Alex is coming up next. Don't touch that up.